Hey everyone, welcome to this 30 minute morning yoga for beginners. All you need for this practice is yourself and something soft below you. So with that, let's get started. Sitting towards the back of your mat, feet are underneath your hips. Right hand is on your belly, left hand is on your heart. Close down your eyes and take a deep breath. And let it go. Taking another deep breath to ground yourself in this space and let it go. Lowering your arms to the side, flow them up and over your head and release them all the way down onto the mat in front of you. Lowering your head, your chest, and your stomach. Taking a couple deep breaths here and feeling into the stretch. Slowly walk your arms to the right side of the mat, feeling that side stretch in your body. Hold here. and switch sides. Arms walk to the left side of your mat, feeling the stretch in the opposite side of your body. Forehead is on the mat and breathe. Walking your hands back towards the center, come up onto all fours, lower your hips all the way down to the mat, release your chest and your chin towards the sky, push back those hips and lower back down into child pose. Repeating this flow a few more times. And on your inhale, meet me in the center, arching your stomach and your mid back all the way towards the sky, chin tucks to your chest. Exhale and release your belly to the mat and arch your head all the way back, staying with your breath, move back and forth a few more times within this cat cow. Adding in some circles here, rotate your chest towards the right, deep bend in those elbows. And switch directions, moving to the left, arching up through your spine and lowering your belly back down. Coming back to neutral, shoulders are over your wrists, hips are over your knees, right arm reaches up towards the sky, crossing it underneath your body and placing that right palm onto the floor. Your head and shoulders are resting on the mat. Take your left arm and wrap it behind your back. Close down your eyes and breathe here for a moment.
Release that left arm back down onto the mat and switch sides. Gently rest on your head and wrap that right arm behind your back and breathe. Releasing that right arm, placing it back on the mat. Coming into all fours again. Sit your hips back. Hands are interlaced behind you. And release your head all the way back. Feeling a deep stretch in your chest. Take a breath and come back to center. Coming back up onto your knees, moving into puppy pose, keeping your hips straight over your knees, extend your arms out all the way in front of you, lower your chest and your forehead all the way to the mat. This is a pretty intense pose in your shoulders, so make sure that you're really squeezing your legs and your core to help support you. Gently lowering your elbows to the mat and walk those hands all the way back towards center. Sitting your hips down. Arms flow out to the side and over your head. Crossing your arms behind you, creating a little pillow here for your neck. Arch back. Take a breath. And release. Moving into downward dog, pushing your hips up into the air, straighten those legs. This is the first downward dog of the class, so you're going to feel pretty tight. Keep pedaling out your feet until you can feel a really good release in the backs of your legs. Bend your right knee, pull all the way through, lowering it down onto the mat. And slowly fold over that front leg. Release your forehead onto your arms and focus on taking deep breaths here. Lifting your chest back up, drop your head, open your chest, and come back to neutral. Keep your legs where they are, bend in your left knee, reach your torso to the left, and reach that arm back to meet your foot. You can grab hold of your foot or your ankle here, whatever is most comfortable for you, and breathe into the stretch. Slowly release that left leg down towards the mat. Come back into downward dog 
and switch sides. Left leg is bent, pull it all the way through and lower it down onto the mat. Taking a moment to make sure that you're comfortable here. Try to make sure both of your hips are squared and fold all the way forward. Releasing your head and breathing into that stretch. Coming back up. Drop your head. Open your chest. And come back to neutral. Bending that right leg this time, right arm reaches back and grabs onto that leg and make sure that you are not feeling any pain in your knee here. If you are, come out of this pose a little bit. Slowly release that leg down. Coming into your downward dog. Right leg lifts all the way towards the sky. Lower and pull it all the way through to the front of the mat, placing your foot firmly on the ground. And untuck that left toe. Using your right leg and your core, pull yourself up, arms flow above your head. Crisscross those arms once more behind you. Deep inhale as you arch back. and release. Left arm rests on top of your right knee. Right arm flows up and all the way back to rest on that back leg, twisting your torso to the right. Hold here. Make sure your neck and spine are straight and lifted. and release that back arm towards the front. Gently tiptoeing that right foot off to the side of the mat, lower down onto your forearms. Feel free to move your hips a little bit here to get a deeper stretch and hold. pushing back up onto your palms and step back into downward dog. Deep release here, push your chest and switch sides. Left leg floats to the sky, hold, bend your knee and pull it all the way towards the front, lowering your foot onto the mat. Right knee rests on the mat, untuck your toe, Squeeze your core, float your arms up, and crisscross those arms behind you. Gently arch back, take a breath, hold, and release. 
right arm rests on your left leg, left arm circles all the way back and rests on top of that right leg, keeping your spine and torso straight here. You can wrap that left arm behind you if that's more comfortable and breathe. Untwist your left arm, tiptoe that left leg towards the side of the mat, and come down onto your elbows. If you can't come down all the way to your elbows, that's fine. Just stay wherever you are. Just try to make sure that both of your hips are squared and that you're breathing into this stretch in your hips. Walking your arms back up. Step back into plank and lower all the way down to the mat through chaturanga and arch all the way back, releasing your chin to the sky into cobra pose. Chest lowers back down to the mat. Come into downward dog. and slowly walk those feet towards the top of the mat. Halfway fold, lengthen your spine, and lower. Stepping those feet towards the outside of the mat, feet are turned out, lower your hips down as far as you can, palms are pressing in towards one another, elbows are pressing into the insides of your knees, get comfortable with wherever you are, and breathe here. Slowly place your palms back onto the mat, lift those hips, walk those feet back towards center, halfway fold, take a breath, and release. Stepping those feet back, lower down through your chaturanga, arch up through cobra, feel a deep stretch through your chest, and flow back into downward dog. Right leg reaches towards the sky. Deep press through your chest and try to get that leg up as far as you can. This time, bending your right leg and allowing it to flow over and across your body. Your foot is firmly placed on the ground and rise up into a wild thing. You should be feeling this stretch through your entire chest and front body. Sit your hips back down and arch back up. Each time trying to get a deeper stretch. Take a breath, lower back down, and reach back up one final time. Squaring off those shoulders, pressing those hips up, lower your right palm back on the mat, right leg lifts up into the sky, and this time cross that leg underneath your body. Lowering your foot onto the ground, right palm stays down, left arm reaches up towards the sky. Your gaze can be either looking at that left palm or down towards the mat.
flowing your left arm back towards the mat, uncross your right leg, reach it towards the sky, and flow through your chaturanga. Release that neck back. Come to downward dog. And now let's do all of that on your left side. Left leg reaches towards the sky. Take a breath. Bending the knee and crossing it over the top of your body. Plant that foot on the ground. Lower your hips and arch all the way up. Hold here. Lower. Take a breath and arch back up. Lower one more time. And extend all the way through. Each time getting a little bit deeper. Left arm comes back to the mat. Center your hips. Left leg reaches towards the sky. Bending that leg and crossing it underneath your body. Right arm flows up towards the sky. Push through those hips. Feel that stretch in your side body. And lift your left leg back into the sky. Lower down and go through Chaturanga. Arching through into Cobra. Keeping your head and chest up here. Rotate your right hip down onto the mat, opening up that left side. Gazing towards your left. And switch sides. Left hip is on the mat. Right hip is up. And flow back and forth here a few more times. Coming back towards center. Sit your hips back. Lower your head into child's pose. Arms are extended in front of you. Breathe for a moment. You should feel your back releasing here in this counter pose. Push up onto all fours. Step your legs through and center yourself on the mat. Heels and toes of your feet are touching one another. Coming into butterfly pose and Fall all the way over those legs. Hands can rest on your feet or ankles. And hold here. Rising back up. Straighten your legs. Center yourself on the mat. Lay all the way down. Pull your right leg towards your chest. Cross it over your body. Allow your knee and your foot here to fall towards the ground. Left arm is gently resting on your right knee. Your gaze is towards your right arm. Close down your eyes and breathe.
pulling your right leg back in, switch legs, left leg reaches towards your chest, cross it over your body, and allow it to rest on the floor. Your gaze is looking at your left arm, and your left arm is extended out onto the floor. You should be feeling a good release in your lower back. Pulling that left leg back, switch your legs once more, right leg is bent, your right hand grasps the outside of your foot, your elbow is tucked into the inside of your leg, and using your hand, try to push that leg down as far as you can. Release that leg and switch. Gently release that left leg, bending both of your knees into your chest this time, grabbing onto the outsides of either of your foot, and come into a happy baby. You can gently rock side to side here if that feels good on your lower back. Slowly bending your knees, releasing your feet, and come into a seated position. Palms are laying gently on the top of your knees. Close down your eyes and take a deep breath. Allow your belly to expand and let it go. One more deep final breath, taking in as much as you can and let it out. Thank you guys so much for joining me on the mat today. Please like and subscribe these videos because they really help my channel. And if you have any requests as to what kind of videos you want to see next, let me know in the comments below. And with that, I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.